Hello, my name is Kimberly McGee and I'm applying to the UTeach program. As well, um, I am a 1994 graduate of Texas Southern University. I majored in journalism and I double minored in speech and English. Um, I feel like I would be a great candidate for this program because I enjoy working with special needs children and also academically challenged children. I feel like I have a great ability to be able to help to unlock them so that they could reach their full potential. I got it. Um, as well, um, within this summary, I am to discuss um, the Angela Duckworth um, assessment as well as the individualized education plan, the IEP, and um, and my ideas as far as differentiated instruction are concerned and data assessment and personalized instruction plans. Um, I feel like my Angela Duckworth score 4.20 shows that I have the ability to have great flexibility and, as well, and I believe that great flexibility helps one when being a special education teacher because you have to be one that is able to be flexible, is able to meet your children where they are while being present to attend to their needs. From day to day, children are different just as we're different as adults and they need someone to be able to be flexible with them, to be able to make changes um, with them when they need them and not to be stuck in who they were yesterday. Um, I think that having a score of 4.20 also says that I'm in the 80th percentile of where most adults are with being able to stick to a task even when it's tough and even when it's frustrating. And I think that these are the great qualities that one would need to be a great special education teacher as well as a UTeach um, program person as personal candidate as well too. Also, I would like to discuss the um, summary of an individualized education program. The, individual, the individualized education plan, which I am referencing, is one of a secondary student. Um, this one had 11 different sections, and the sections included first, background information, um, section two, measured the present condition of the student. Section three dealt with the physical development of the student. Um, section four focused on the management needs of the student. Section five outlined the special education programs and related services. Section six dealt with the details um, for participation with general education courses and non-academic and extracurricular activities as well. Section 7, 8, and 9 um, dealt with transition services as well as activities for long-term outcomes. And Section 9 determined, um, detailed goals for graduating as well. Section 10 includes a summary of selected recommendations with lists of um, classification for disability, recommended placement, questioning for the extended school year and recommended placement as well as transportation needs. Section 11 focuses on where the student will be going for the upcoming year, be it um, graduation, be it um, higher education or um, a technical school. Um, I want to now go on to differentiated instruction. Differentiated instruction I feel is needed in, in dealing with any student. Differentiated instruction helps to meet the student where they are. It helps to be able to um, modify the program as needed. And it helps to also um, meet the student in, in different ways. One of the ways that I worked with students with differentiated instruction when I was a third and fourth grade teacher is I had a library in my classroom. The library had different books of different academic reading levels to meet the children where they were. And this way they could feel confident and excited about having a, um, they could feel confident as well as excited 
about having a book to read when they finish their work. And this was often seen as a great reward. Um, another part of differentiated instruction would be a read aloud. The read alouds I did were guided and we often had um, classroom guided instruction where I led the discussion, the discussion and the dialogue. The students enjoyed the discussion and oftentimes we were able to have great class room discussions that would follow the read alouds as well too. This is what we often did when we studied language arts as well as if we just did a read aloud for fun from a regular chapter book too. Um, also another form of differentiated instruction is journal writing. Sometimes we would do journal writing which served to check their handwriting skills and it also served to check their um, grammar usage and English usage as well. Um, Data-driven instruction is very important because I feel like it helps to understand um, students as well as where they are, how they're relating to the subject, if their assessment is, um, is, is showing where they are actually achieving, and if the parent is able to follow along. So data-driven instruction is important for these reasons. Also, um, in conclusion, I believe learning should be personalized with each step from the IEP to differentiated instruction as well as the data-driven instruction. That um, learning should be student-centered and with it being student-centered, it is personalized in every area. I thank you for listening to my video today and I help, hope that this helped you to see some of who I am and how I believe education should go. Have a great day.